Hi there guys, in this video I'm going to tell you what a shield booster does. This is another way of increasing your shield. The other way is using a cell bank which recharges your shield when it's low but not completely out. They do have a couple of downsides to them. Uh, the first being that they generate a lot of heat. They use an internal compartment so if you're trading you will lose one of your internal compartments and they will run out of charges. Uh, in that video I kept calling them casts, but I think I call them casts because of like magic, you cast them. But anyway, probably not the right word, but cell boosters work a bit differently. So instead of being prompted to be used, uh, cell boosters passively just increase your shield by a certain percentage. So if we go into our output in page, uh, we can see that cell boosters go into our utility mounts. So once we go into there, you can see a shield booster. It will use uh, a draw of 1.2 megawatts, which is okay for me because I've got enough power. And for this, we will get a 20% stronger shield. That's basically what's meant by 1.2. So if we go and install it, now we suddenly have got another 20%. Shield boosters can be stacked, so we can put multiples in to get the effect multiple times so in this case I have two uh, in this case I have a 40% stronger shield I suggest using shield boosters for kind of combat sh uh, for trade ships because usually you have a lot of spare power in a trade ship that basically doesn't get used because you're not going for combat uh, cell banks like I said have quite a few downsides for trading um, so boosters are usually pretty okay for NPC combat in hazardous zones etc because there you can actually stay there and let shields go up but in kind of player versus player scenarios you need to shield up a lot faster and that's probably where you need a cell bank if I disable my shield boosters and re-enable them I can show you that the third ring was out so like I said that uh, means the shield was about 40% weaker. Like I said they're very good if you've got a trade ship and some extra spare power you don't need. They could mean the difference between getting hull damage and getting away. Um, like I said I use them quite often because they're pretty useful. Anyway guys that is what a shield booster does.